Well, hi there, guys. We have uh, posted a question on Facebook, which has had so many of you answering it about whether you prefer to use tape to tie the tails up or whether you prefer to use the RG knots. And there have been some amazing answers from you. Many of you are talking about Velcro tail ties, which are awesome. Because just remember that when you use the um, tail tape, you have to also be aware that the horse has a tail that is, feels something. It's not just hair. So if you do this too tight, you can sometimes actually inhibit what your horse is doing because it's feeling the pressure here exactly as you would if somebody had a tourniquet around your arm that was too tight. But everybody is talking about um, it being so difficult to do these tail tapes, uh, sorry, these tail ties and talking about big loops in the tail and that kind of stuff, that only comes if you plait this too long and then you tie it up and you get this loop here um, as you tie it up here. I just want to show you, I just want to show you a way that is very simple, that is not going to um, be a difficult thing to do and is not going to cause you any hassles. The only thing I want to be absolutely sure of is that you understand that you can't have these big thick tails to do an RG knot. It's almost impossible to put the tail up with a knot if that tail is very robust and thick. So this kind of tail is absolutely fine. So let me just quickly show you how we go about doing that. Okay guys, so just to show you how I would go about this, first thing you're going to do is to look for a piece of tail that is going to be long enough there's a good one there to hang down and just a piece okay so that it's nice and clear and you have got everything else and you've got one piece hanging down like that what you would do next is to take this tail and <laughs> sorry my girl these flies are really hassling you what you would do is to take the tail and split it into two so now you've got two equal pieces in your hand two equal size pieces now take one of them and split it again sorry big guy into two so you've got two smaller pieces that equal each other and together they're the same size as the one in your left hand now you don't have to plait this far, okay? You've got that piece hanging down, so you would plait until the two small ones come together twice. So, small one across, big one in. Small one across, small one across, big one in, and the two small ones onto the right-hand side again the same. So you've got about that much plaited. Now, just bend the tail, okay, and grab the whole tail, and put that into between these two fingers. So between these two fingers of this hand. Get this and work from the bottom of the tail up, okay? Until you've got, you don't need to do very much. Um, the next tie here with this tail being so short would be too, too much. Where here, you've got about that much tail left. Now take that and obviously you can tie it around as often as you want if the tail is longer to get left with that much. Now, tie it tight, lay it back in your hands, okay? So that this lies in your hand, the whole thing lies in your hand. Let me just show you, there you've turned it back and it's lying in your hand. Now get this piece and lie it with that in your hand. And now what you would do is work from the end of this piece of tail that you've got here and tie and go towards the actual tail bone itself. And just do that until it's really tight. Okay, keep going. Don't skimp on this because if you're not tight here, you're going to have a problem. So I'm really pulling this through until it's up and I'm working from the end of this up here so I've worked from the end up this is now really tight and all you've got to do now is just to pull it down and that is never going to come undone there are no big loops here it's a very tidy little tail that's not going to come down and you've got no constriction on the actual tail, tail bone itself where you're going to cause the horse discomfort 
and when you undo this all you're going to do is actually just get this and push that back through and it's nice and tight so it's never going to come undone on the field and just undo it that way and you are back to a very simple tail. So I really hope that has um, come out well and that you guys can actually see what I'm doing with my hands. But just the biggest thing is don't plait too long. You're, only, you're gonna get that tail into two pieces and then split the one side into two again. And you plait until the two, make the two smaller ones on your right hand side, on your right hand. And you plait until the two little ones are back on together on the right hand side. Now just turn it over, wrap it round, lie it back into your hand, get that piece that's hanging down and light in, work from the end of that in until it's really tight and just pull the tail down. So I hope this simple little way of doing the tails helps you all and uh, I hope it sort of settles the question of how to do these because many people have asked how you actually do this um, tail knot and it's not a difficult thing to do if you will just follow these simple instructions.